We've all had this fantasy. You buy a little something at a yard sale for nothing, and it ends up making you very, very rich. ABC's Nick Watt now on the $2.2 million gift from nowhere. Bought at a yard sale for three bucks, this bowl sat on a dusty mantle for five years. After a bidding frenzy at Sotheby's, it just sold for over $2 million. How did the anonymous seller react? I got an email which said in capital letters, wow, and then wow again with a line of exclamation marks. So uh, I think they were very pleased. It's a 1,000 year old Chinese bowl. Totally inspired this morning, I went shopping looking for anything vaguely. Chinese. If there's a fortune in this box, I will quit my job right now. No, it has got some age. It's a pattern I haven't seen before. Exciting. We asked our experts for top tips to find a fortune at a flea market. If something is old, it'll be a much bigger chance that it's worth money. This old copy of the Declaration of Independence cost $2.48 plus tax at a thrift store. Turned out to be uber old and sold at auction for nearly half a million. And look for something Chinese. Yes. Chinese is one of the hardest fields to appraise. Even yeah. experts don't always know the Chinese gems from the junk, upping the odds of a masterpiece with a $3 price tag. Always buy what appeals to you, and then you will never go wrong. Back to my little cup. It's certainly before 1872. Really? It's old, it's Chinese, and I like it, but... The reality, you'll probably get no more than about sort of 5 to $10 for it. Uh... Proving luck is really the key, so I'm not quitting my job. See you tomorrow. Nick Watt, ABC News, Los Angeles.